that brings me to another claim that is constantly being made by Steve Kirsch. He claims that we know the COVID vaccines are dangerous because VAERS reports are currently higher for COVID vaccines than for other vaccines. But for that to be a valid argument, there can't be any other influences on whether or not a VAERS report is made. And as this graph clearly shows, there are other influences. If a vaccine is getting lots of attention from anti-vaxxers making false claims about it, people are more likely to report adverse events. And just as that was the case with the MMR vaccine, that is now the case with the COVID vaccines. And as an example of this, Dr. John Campbell recently made a video where he announced that he had made a yellow card report, which is the UK equivalent of a VAERS report because he was diagnosed with hypertension or high blood pressure a few months after getting a COVID booster shot. Now, Dr. John Campbell is an overweight man in his 60s who already had previously been diagnosed with high cholesterol. So he has a number of risk factors for hypertension, but he thought it was possible that his hypertension could be related to the vaccine. So he submitted a report. Would he have submitted a report if his hypertension diagnosis had been a few months after a flu vaccine? Or would he have assumed a more obvious explanation? And there are even more reasons for increased reports with COVID vaccines. Firstly, there are different reporting requirements for COVID vaccines compared with other vaccines. Healthcare providers are required by law to report any serious adverse event or death following the administration of a COVID vaccine, even if they don't believe it was caused by the vaccine. But for other vaccines that have been on the market for a while, they only have to report specific events. And this table shows some of the vaccines and the corresponding events that have to be reported. And of course, this doesn't mean that other events can't be reported for existing vaccines. It's just not a legal requirement. Another reason for the difference in the number of VAERS reports for the COVID vaccine compared with other vaccines is that it is being given to a very different population. A number of vaccines are given to primarily young populations who are unlikely to develop a lot of adverse events that are being reported. For example, it is rare for people to develop hypertension in childhood when a lot of vaccines are administered, but it is common to develop it in middle age and beyond. And there is not just a difference in the makeup of the population getting the COVID vaccine, there is also a difference in the size of the population. The COVID vaccine was given to a large population of people over a short time frame. That was not the case with any previous vaccine on the market. Yet another reason for the increase in adverse event reporting is what is known as the Weber effect. The Weber effect is a phenomenon where there is increased volume of reported adverse events for new drugs within their first years of approval. And the reason for the increase is because older drugs are thought to be better understood as they have been around for a longer time, and therefore clinicians feel there is less need to report adverse events.